the tests that we've conducted so far, uh, we've had a, a whole various range of, of different types of tumors that we've uh, had people try with pawpaw. And these people were various stages from stage one to stage four. Uh, initially, the people that we, that we had as subjects were all stage four because in, actually we were testing it in Nevada, and the state of Nevada has a law that you can try anything if the physician and the patient agrees if they have terminal cancer. So, uh, so most of these people had already been through chemotherapy and had exhausted its potential, uh, had gone through radiation, and were essentially, you know, with, with both feet in the grave. Uh, and so we gave them pawpaw, and I remember Dr. Forsyth, Jim Forsyth, in, uh, at the Reno Cancer Screening and Treatment Center was the doctor that was helping us uh, back in 2002, 2003, and uh, Jim gave us 20 cancer patients. Right away we lost seven because they were just too far gone, but uh, over a period of six months to a year, he saw a remarkable stabilization of the health of, of 13 of those patients. And so I think we can say that uh, Papa is safe to use. And also, Dr. Forsyth checked the usual parameters in the bloodstream for liver enzymes and for bone marrow depression and things like you know the white cell count and the red cell count and platelets and all that, the usual things that you'd want to check on, make sure you're not affecting something adversely and pawpaw doesn't affect any of those at all. It worked out very well and he was quite quite pleased with that. That incidentally is in the, the tape called The Power of Pawpaw, uh, Forsyth's testimony about how he came out with those patients that he had. So. Uh, and no problems with radiation either. We've had one of our initial patients was actually one of the secretaries uh, at the company, and she uh, went through. Well, first she took pawpaw, and then she took chemo, and she took uh, five rounds of chemo, and they couldn't detect the tumors anymore. And then she underwent surgery, <laughs> and then she underwent radiation, and all the time she kept taking pawpaw. And I saw her, one of the last times I saw her, she had a sign on her desk that said, I'm cancer-free. And so it looked pretty